Well, it's a nice morning and we're on our way to Jedburgh. The destination is on the left. Plenty of space. <laughs> All the electric charging points are out of order. She parked it. Nice one, Charlie. The good thing we've noticed about Scotland is lots of the attractions and the parking is free. Free. So Mary Queen of Scots Visitor Centre is free to everybody. Jedburgh Castle Jail and Museum is free to everybody. And Jedburgh Abbey we can get in free with our English heritage. Everything is free. We're off to Mary Queen of Scots House. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cold today. Oh blimey, and it's very windy. And uh, that crash was a sign blowing over. Okay, let's go in. Inside it was a bit dark and gloomy, but all the information was well presented and interesting. Mary Queen of Scots had her eye on the English throne, but that was already occupied by Elizabeth I, who was Mary's cousin and rival. Mary became involved in numerous plots against Elizabeth. This chart shows all of the key players involved in Mary's demise. The plot that finally brought about her downfall was with a man called Babington, who had planned to assassinate Elizabeth and bring about a foreign invasion. As we all know, her treachery failed and Mary lost her. I didn't realise was Elizabeth I was Henry VIII's daughter yeah and Mary Queen of Scots was Henry VIII's sister's great granddaughter mm. yes. we were in Mary Queen of Scots house and they had this machine where you could put a coin in and you had to choose whether you wanted Mary Queen of Scots crowned or beheaded and Carol chose beheaded and well, Elizabeth the first was the true heir to the English throne yeah but you can't behead a, 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 like the saint of Scotland when you're in Scotland when you're in Scotland <laughs> we're on the search for lunch now fish chips pizza and kebabs <clears throat> No. Well, I would eat fish and chips again. How long is it since we had fish and chips? You have in, do you know? So, I asked for no milk with my tea. But you still get the milk jug. <laughs> that looks a tasty bowl of soup. Got the Cullen skink and the sandwich. Right, which way are we going? Back up here. Okie dokie. Well, my Cullen skink was delicious. Get on with your work. 
stop complaining. And a nice cat. I think he's fed up with tourists. Everywhere in Scotland is full of abbeys or castles or historic buildings. So we didn't bother to walk around this one. The hunt for a new coat finally came to an end in Jedburgh. And it's a good thing too, because with some of the downpours we've been having, I think she's going to need it. We were waiting at the traffic lights. We noticed this little boy. So I gave him a wave and he gave us one back. 